Thanks for joining us. I'm Natalie Allen. Since we've been talking about green alternatives on Forecast Earth this weekend, what about an eco option for diesel? Diesel pollutes more than its gasoline counterpart. An alternative is biodiesel. It's made from vegetable oil and runs clean and green. As Dr. Marcus Erickson reports, you can take this energy source from the fryer to the fuel tank. Can a vat of French fry grease fuel your car? Many drivers of diesel vehicles are proving that it can be done. Hi, Dr. Marcus here. Now, cars that are fueled by biodiesel get about the same gas mileage as those that run on regular diesel, but they have much lower greenhouse gas emissions and will improve your overall engine performance. Still, some drivers find the idea of using biodiesel confusing, partly because there are several options to choose from. One method is to simply use straight vegetable oil. This stuff is very thick, so you need to modify your gas tank before using it. For around $1,000, you can add a heating element to thin the oil so it doesn't clog your engine. But if your car is newer than 1993 and you don't want to modify your vehicle, you can just buy biodiesel from stations like this one. This fuel, called B99, is made almost entirely from renewable resources. Currently, commercial biodiesel costs a bit more than conventional gasoline. But you can make your own biodiesel for about a dollar a gallon. You need three ingredients, vegetable oil, an alcohol, and a catalyst. There are some volatile chemicals involved, so be sure to wear your safety goggles and clothing to protect your skin. I'm using grease from a vegetarian restaurant as it's a little cleaner than what you get from a fast food joint. The alcohol most home brewers use is methanol. Now it is made from natural gas, so it is a fossil fuel. Even so, your car's tailpipe emissions will be much lower than with gasoline. Every connoisseur has their own blend, but the basic rule of thumb is one part methanol to five parts veggie oil. Now, methanol vapors are toxic, so make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. The third and last ingredient is a catalyst. I'm using about a teaspoon of potassium hydroxide, which isn't very hard to find. In fact, you can order it over the internet. Screw the cap on and give it a good shake. The more you shake it, the faster the mix will dissolve. Now, just let it sit. Once the mix has settled, and that may take as long as a day, you'll see a dark maple syrup-like layer in the bottom of the bottle. This is mostly glycerin, which can be used to make soap, but the lighter liquid above, that's the biodiesel. Separate the biodiesel from the glycerin by pouring it off. And there's no waste here. If you don't use it to make soap, the glycerin can be composted. At this point, some people wash their biodiesel to remove some impurities that might be suspended in the fuel. Since we began with a clean oil source, washing it isn't necessary. That's it. Your home-brewed biodiesel is ready to go in your car. One thing you should know about driving a biodiesel vehicle is a slight aroma of french fries. And don't forget to check with your local government to see if you need a permit to make your own biodiesel. And if you missed a step or two in the process, you can catch the story again online at weather.com slash forecaster.